what's going on guys welcome back to the high psi channel <clears throat> so today we've got this uh three valve mustang in for a tune uh, not sure where this video is going to land but this car has actually already been in the shop one time i'll put a link in the video up here somewhere but this car came in just to get dyno pulls about a week ago and uh, it needs some love so we're going to go over this thing a little bit fix a few things get the tune dialed in and see where this uh this three valve lands all right guys so we're actually on the next day here and uh as you can see the dyno is empty and that's because we pulled that mustang off and the reason why we pulled it off is it has some uh, other issues that's preventing us from tuning uh we went ahead and changed both upstream o2 sensors and got that squared away uh, but it's got some other check engine lights the uh the customer installed his own camshafts and he did not use the tool to hold the chain in the proper place when not when you don't remove the front cover to install cams um, and so we believe he got lucky on one side but uh, after testing the actual uh, uh, camshaft <coughs> sensor slash the phaser sensor uh, after testing it and it testing good we're pretty positive that the uh, timing's off a tooth perhaps even two teeth um, and that's what's triggering the check engine light so we pulled off the dyno because we are going to be taking this thing back apart and getting the engine retimed so in the meantime we've carried on with some of our other projects that we've got in right now we've got this wrx in for a diagnostic we just pulled the spark plug on cylinder four that was not firing and the electrode is smashed so uh we're gonna do a compression test maybe get a lab scope or bore scope in the motor and see what we got going on there uh, we just got in the new motion raceworks valve covers with the uh, dash 10 AMs already on them on both sides so we got those installed we actually uh, have to make a bracket for the coil packs but no big deal but got those installed man they look good and then I don't know if you guys remember in previous videos the indica blue scat that we did the wicker bill and the exhaust and catch can on but uh, it's back and we're installing the we took off this front plastic piece on the bumper and you can see it had holes drilled in it from i guess the dealerships and stuff that really bugged them so we got a brand new oem one and then uh i wrapped it in uh 3m's carbon fiber vinyl wrap we got that all situated and that on and then we're changing the front grill out to a 2018 plus front grill and then we also have this front spoiler uh chin spoiler going on so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the last piece of the grill put in and then get the front bumper put all back on and then we'll put the uh, splitter on and that'll be it for this one So wraps as you can see we got the 18 plus grill in we got the new front piece wrapped in 3m carbon and then we got this carbon uh, chin spoiler on that's all we got going on on the indica blue today we're gonna get this thing out get the customer called and get it on back home going on guys so it is the next day and john and i are hard at it the uh, mustang that came in for a tune that's got some other issues john started tearing this thing down we're gonna find out what's going on with the timing on this one we got uh this audi a4 in uh, for those of you who don't know we've collabed up with uh, 2020 auto spa i'll put their information uh, in the link down below but uh John's in here real quick, taking a break from the Mustang, taking the headliner out of this thing, because we are wrapping the roof in 3M carbon fiber. So, getting popping on that. Got this 2014 Mustang GT in for a dyno. And I seem to have overbooked myself by accident. Or maybe I'm a sucker for pain. But uh, we got this turbo smart car that's also in for a tune. And then, uh, you guys remember, the big turbo Camaro is back. Some things happen, and the car got a new nickname. 
Uh, I'll post some uh, some links to the video, or I might post some pictures here in just a second. But uh, the car got a new nickname. You can read that. Fire hazard. So this this thing got uh, put back together after an incident that happened with the methanol line and I uh, got some new injectors so it's time for a retune again on the uh, 107 Camaro so hopefully hopefully I can uh, get all three cars knocked out today probably not just being that we have the Mustang and the Audi going on at the same time just a lot of work for two guys but uh, we work hard and play harder so we'll see what happens so guys, we're about to go ahead and get after this wrap on the top of this roof. Like I said, we're doing 3M 2080 uh, carbon fiber. Got the headliner down and we got the uh, antenna removed. We've prepped the surface, 80% isopropyl alcohol. It's all ready. We went ahead and got our cut tape laid out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and blow the roof off one more time, make sure there's no contaminants, lay this film out, and get after it. So we've got the vinyl laid out. We're going to go ahead and uh, trim this excess right here, and then uh, peel the back and get after it. Check it out. Got it pretty much laid. Now we're going to go through and start doing some of the trimming. Once we get it trimmed out. We'll uh, go ahead and pull our cut tape, trim out the sunroof, and then uh, do our post heat, and uh, get this baby back together. Oh boy, it's getting there. We got the back trimmed out, the sides trimmed out, and the front trimmed out. It is really coming together. We'll go ahead start getting the sunroof straightened out we'll be about done with this joker mm, the carbon is looking good and there we have the final product all trimmed out looking good See everything around there all trimmed out. Nice and tucked. Everything looks good. It's time to put her back together. Unfortunately, I've been busy tuning this thing, so I missed the vast majority of John installing the new grill on the Audi with man. A big difference. Blacks out the front end, cleans it up a lot. So we added these carbon Audi rings on there as well. So John's wrapping up, putting the front end all back together, and then we'll get this thing outside and get a get a real view of this new front end with the carbon roof. Stay tuned. Check it out, boys. <laughs> we got the smart car on the rolls. 100% tiniest car I've ever been on the dyno. But she's all strapped down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the computer set up and make the pool with the tune that it's got in it. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started on it. 